Hi everyone, this is Jacob from immersivemath.com and today we'll talk about systems of equations and how you can see the solution to a system of equations geometrically. So assume that you have a system of equations like this. In this case, each of these equations actually represent a plane. So this represents one plane, this represents another plane, and this last equation represents a third plane. And we could see then that in this image. So for instance, the first equation represents this plane. This means that every point on this plane satisfies the first equation. And perhaps the second equation represents this second plane. That means that every point on this plane satisfies the second equation. This means that the intersection between these two planes, which is this dashed line here, will satisfy both of these equations. And then, of course, where this line intersects the third plane, which it will do in this case in a single point, that point satisfies all three equations. So basically here we have a unique solution to this system of equations. So from this picture, it's easy to think that it's always the case that if you have three equations, and three unknowns that there will be a unique solution. But that is not always the case. For instance, in this case, we have a lying plane here representing the first equation. We have a standing plane here representing the second equation. And perhaps the third equation actually intersects the first and the second along the same line as the others intersect each other. So this means that every point on this line will satisfy all three equations. And that in turn means that every point in this line is a solution to the system of equations. So we no longer have a unique solution. We have several, actually an infinite number of solutions, and they lie along this line. Another example is where two of the equations actually represent the same plane. They don't actually need to be the same equation. You could have one equation, and they could have a constant times that equation being the second equation that is still the same plane. So we have drawn this here by dashing this, this plane here. So this is kind of two planes. And, the, and where these two planes intersect the third will determine where the solution is. So here we have an infinite number of solutions along this line here because this is where the last plane intersects the first two. The last example is where all three equations actually represent the same plane. And in this case, all of these points are a solution to the system of equations. So these are the four different possibilities when you have solutions to a system of equations. So I hope you learned something from this and see you next time. Bye.